Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to another episode of our Stone Block 2 Let's Play Adventure, where today we are going to be continuing our exploration of the storage tree, which we've already completed a couple. We did all the black hole units, we've done all of the barrels. Today we are going to focus on storage drawers, and then possibly, if we have time, storage crates, because I'd like to... Well, I don't even know if we can complete those yet. There's some items necessary to create the second and third tier storage crate that I'm not I'm not quite sure if we're there yet but we might touch on those so storage drawers are very similar even the upgrades are very similar to what you can do with the barrels however there are some differences that we're going to touch on and uh, let's just go ahead and get started with the basic storage drawer a good cheap storage option you darn right it is I don't know if you can just make one though Apparently you can. There also exists a framing table, which you can use to make drawer frames, and then if you want to make a drawer that is not wooden looking, you can do that. I'm trying to decide if we need to go ahead and make one. Let's do it. Why not? Let's go ahead and touch on that, because I think that's a good place to start with this mod. We're going to use birch wood, although it doesn't really matter what you use. Apparently it does. It doesn't like birch wood. Can I not make the framing table? It's not... Oh, Shrek, you know what? That's not... That's trim. That's going to require that we get some sticks. That's our first lesson today. Never think something is planks just because it looks exactly like tranks. planks or you'll be very disappointed. We'll get some birch trim. We'll get, you know what, let's get, let's get a bit of birch trim. Should we go for half a stack? Let's go for half a stack because you never know how much of that we're going to need today. And then we'll make ourselves a framing table, which I'm going to set down right here. No, you know what, it's off center and I don't like that. Let's set it down maybe right here. Dadgummit, I'm really struggling here. Yeah, it's not going to put it up against the wall there. Is it because there's a torch in the way? Okay, I finally got it, and then can I put the torch back? Yes. All right, so we've got our framing table now all set up. And don't let this intimidating-looking, appearing nonsense fool you. All we got to do is get some framed drawers, and then planks for the panels, planks for the front of the drawers, and planks for the edge trim if you're into that sort of thing. You don't have to go through this. You can make a basic drawer using just oak wood, trap, uh, regular chest, that, that's all you need. But if you wanted to make framed, it, it's an option, okay? You can make a framed drawer with sticks and a chest. Maybe we should do both. Maybe for the sake of demonstration, we should do both. So we've got our planks like so, and we put our chest in the middle. Look at that. We got ourselves a basic storage drawer. We needed to do that to complete the quest anyway. Should we wait till the end to see what we get? Maybe we should. Let's go ahead and hold off on it. But uh, then the next recipe, if you wanted to create a framed drawer, is just sticks like so. And now inside of the framing table, you can make this thing look however you want it to be. Uh, for instance, we could put birch wood for the, the drawer front. And then we could get, I don't know, some stone. And then... Why not a piece of dirt? This is going to look hideous, but uh, you could put dirt up here for the panel. That's kind of a look of what it's going to look like. And then we could do some edge trimming. If you get off of there, it'll show you exactly what it's going to look like. And as you can tell, that is hideous and disgusting. And you should not build that. Uh, but it, it's an option if you're into that. It's certainly an option. You can mix and match and you can make the drawer. You can make that frame drawer. However you want, we're not going to do that because it did look terrible. But as you can see, it'll hold 32 stacks per drawer of a single item. So if you wanted to throw that down there, for example, we could put all of our, well, not our mossy stone bricks, but all of our regular bricks in there by just right clicking. And uh, it functions almost identically to the barrels. You want to take stuff out, left click, shift left click to take out a stack. It's, uh, it's pretty basic. Does it hold items when you break it? It doesn't. Spews them all out on the ground. Well, that's a knock against it, if I'm being honest with you. That's a bit of a hassle if you want to move them around. But I'm sure there's probably something in here, an upgrade of some kind, that'll let you move them around. We're going to stick pretty much to the guide today. We're not going to claim our reward. We're going to wait till we're done. So from there, we can go through the upgrades, which is going to be the easiest path forward. Or we can look at compacting drawers. But there's other things that aren't listed on here that I also want to touch on. Let's go ahead and start with the upgrade template. Drawer upgrades require the upgrade template. You do not need to have a lower tier to use a higher tier upgrade. So unlike the barrels that we use, you can go all the way up to the top tier upgrade. You don't need to start from the lower tier one. Now, an upgrade template is going to require some basic drawers. So you're going to have to sacrifice a basic drawer and some sticks in order to even get the upgrade template. So just keep that in mind. You are probably going to be making an awful lot of drawers 
uh, if you want to make an awful lot of templates, which can be a bit of a hassle. But there you go. There's your upgrade template. And now we can make uh, the first level upgrade, which is going to require obsidian. And then after that, there's uh, iron, gold, diamond, emerald. You can go down, reduce base storage to a single stack if that's something you want to do. You can do that using flint. Uh, you've got status upgrades. You can do void upgrades. Again, very, very similar to barrels. I'm just going to run along here and get everything we might need from my chickens. Again, if you're not into chickens... Boy, howdy, the last few episodes of this series must have been just a nightmare for you, huh? All right, so we're going to create our storage upgrade for uh, obsidian. And then we'll also... Jeez, oh, we're already out of sticks. We're going to go through a lot of wood in this episode, I figure. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of storage upgrades as well. But that should get us gold. We completely skipped iron. This will give us diamond. We're out of sticks again. And we're about to be out of storage templates as well. So diamond and then emerald, I think, is all the ones we are being prompted to make as part of the quest. So we've completed that line. I wanted to try something, though. I wanted to do a bit of an experiment here. Can we get another emerald one? And the reason is, well, <laughs> Shrek me. <laughs> we're going through sticks so rapidly. All right. I wanted to experiment. Because I was looking at these, and it says it increases storage to 32 times base value. Is that the base value of the storage drawer? Or the base value that you start with? I guess it says base value, but then you would think that it would say starting value. I'm, I'm even struggling to explain what it is we're going to experiment here. But here's what I'm saying. If we have two storage drawers, each one of these has the potential to hold... Uh, I think it is 32 stacks of a single item until we start applying the upgrades. So if we went with Obsidian here, it'll now hold more. I don't know how to get it to show you. Oh, right there. Stack limit 64 times 2. Stack limit 32 times 1. You can go all the way up to upgrade 5, I, I believe. And now we have a stack limit of 32, or 1,024 by 32, which is crazy. However... D what happens if we upgrade this one, right? Like, let's say to the next tier with iron and, or I'm sorry, right click iron, gold, diamond, and then we go. Okay, yeah. So if you do them all in order, you know, you start with your obsidian and then you go you know, to iron, to gold, to diamond, to, uh, to, to whatever this is, what emerald. It does give you more storage space than if you skipped straight to Emerald. As you can see, we have a stack limit 1,984 times 62 versus 1,024 times 32. 32 times the base value, I guess, is the value of what you're starting with. You know, if you're starting with a basic chest, you get times 32, and if you're starting with an upgraded one... At least I assume. This is what this is what I'm feeling is the case. I mean, they do definitely have... One has more storage space than the other. That's sort of indisputable. I wonder how you get the upgrades out of these things. Do you just break them? Apparently so, yeah. And that just spits the upgrades back out. Well, would you look at that? Barrels? No, I mean, I don't want the barrels to spit out their upgrades because then they'd also spit out their items, but... Still, it's nice to be able to get these things back. So next up, we have the compacting drawer. Compacting drawers hold the items inside, as well as whatever it compresses into, and what compresses into that. And if that sounds confusing, I'm a little confused as well. But we're going to build one, and I have an idea of what probably happens, but we're going to have to experiment to find out for sure. My theory, as it were, is that if we put cobblestone inside of a compacting storage drawer, it'll automatically compact it to... Uh, well, compressed cobblestone. I don't know if that's the case, but let's get some compressed cobblestone out, turn it into regular cobblestone, and then we'll right-click it in there. Uh, yeah, it seems like that's what it did. It compressed the cobblestone into compressed cobblestone. If I add more cobblestone, will it eventually co create a double compressed cobblestone? I've got some six-tuple compressed cobblestone. Let's not, let's not touch that stuff for right now. Let's turn all of this into cobblestone, and we'll start right-clicking it in there. Yeah, okay, it looks like we now have double compressed. So that's cobblestone. I think that's compressed. I think that's double compressed. So right-click to get cobblestone. That is compressed cobblestone. And then double compressed cobblestone. It works exactly the way you would think that it would. It automatically compresses whatever you put inside of it. That is very cool. So I did this in original Sky Factory by creating something, a crafting machine. Not Sky Factory, I'm sorry, original stone block. 
I created a, an automated crafting machine to create the recipe for compressed cobblestone and you know go down the line. But if you have a compacting storage drawer, you can do exactly that. You could put a cobblestone generator underneath it and it would automatically feed cobblestone into it. Let's give that a try. Let's make sure because it's a little finicky to get the cobblestone generator to automatically feed things out. Where is it? It's a little bit finicky to locate your compressed or your cobblestone generators. So we'll place that there and we will throw the compacting storage drawer on top and regular cobblestone should be deposited into it. Yep. There you go. It's got two, three, four. So theoretically when it reaches nine, it'll create a compressed one. You can only get up to double compressed though, but you could probably have it feed the compressed into another compacting drawer, which would then start the process over again to create triple and quadruple. You, you kind of see where it's going. This is this is cool. I wish I'd realized this sooner because this would have been very handy in my previous stone block let's play. Next, it wants us to create a drawer controller. So the drawer controller will search for any connected drawers within 12 blocks and then expose all of those drawers as a large combined inventory. Similar then to the black hole controller, except the black hole controller actually contains the black hole units. Also similar to the barrel controller device that I've forgotten the name of and also we had a lot of issues with, but which I now think that I kind of understand even though I still haven't tested my theory on how it operates and I can't find it, I've lost it, but it's around here someplace. Possibly inside of here? Oh no, there it is, item barrel connector. I've got a theory on that, we'll get back to that. For this recipe though, we are going to need some redstone torches as well as some quartz from the nether, also called nether quartz, in case you didn't know, uh, because the recipe for the drawer controller requires that we get some redstone. Is this a comparator? I haven't built comparators yet here, but there you go. This is the first sort of redstone-esque device we've built. Well, I mean, we've built machines, and that requires redstone, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but there we go. Drawer controller, plop that down, and then if we have a drawer handy, we do We'll plop that down over here. I don't think they have to be connected, do they? Did It did say connected, didn't it? Let me double check my reading here. Uh, da, 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 drawers within 12 blocks. Any connected drawer within 12 blocks. So specifically connected. Yes, indeed. All right, so if I plop it down there. Um, yeah, you can't actually right click on it or shift left click on it. So Again, very, very much like the one for the barrels in that you probably hook it up to an ME network and the ME network will see it as a single item and will be able to look at all of the items in the drawer. Maybe that's how that works. I noticed that there was one other thing we could build, which is a controller slave acts as an extension of a drawer controller, which I guess means if you have, I mean, you have a limited reach with this thing, 12 blocks. If you put this within 12 blocks, would it expand the reach? Possibly? Very similar recipe. So more comparators, and then I, th I think that's everything. Ah, we need another storage drawer. Right. We're going to have to take this one. Ah, we'll just make another one because we might need one again here soon for testing purposes. So just make another basic storage drawer, and then we will make our drawer controller slave, and then we're going to hook this thing up. It says they have to be connected, though. My theory was... I mean, my testing was just going to be to plop it down like way over here and then put this even further down, but they do have to be connected, unfortunately. So I'm not going to be testing it today because I don't need that many drawers. Uh, we did it, though. We, we've we completed the entire run of storage drawer quests, but we're not finished. We've got some more things to touch on, but let's go through and see what we get as a reward. A simple alloy smelter, not useful. Simple sag mill, not useful. Another simple alloy smelter, definitely not useful. That thing, I've got a few of those. I don't know what they do, those void ore miners. Well, it allows you to mine from the void, I know that much. Uh, some epic bacon, okay. A Herculean flux storage, sure. Auto sifter, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Powered diamond anvil, that is handy. You can repair items inside of that using electricity. Would be more useful though if we didn't have a repair talisman which we do, but could still come in handy at some point in the future. We've got ourselves two ender chests. That's the good one. That's the modded one. Those are very handy. And a redstone furnace. Do we have a redstone furnace? I know that we have an induction smelter, but we don't have a redstone furnace. So that is something new that we haven't had before. 
Uh, we'll plop it down somewhere around here. I'll find a place for it, maybe between episodes. We're not done yet though with the storage drawers because we want to talk about the one by twos and the two by twos, which allow you to hold different types of items because you can only hold, I think it's 32 stacks of a single type of item in a storage drawer. If you go with a one by two, which uses two chests in the recipe, you can hold 16 stacks of two different types of items. So 16 stacks per drawer, and there's two drawers. And then the four by four, same thing, except there are four drawers. And you can make them also using the frames. So you can make a frame if you want to. And you can also make them as half drawers. Uh, they hold less, but they are smaller on the wall. So if you wanna hang them up on the wall, I think they're like slab thickness just about. I'm going to create some of these basic storage drawers two by twos, and I'll show you what I'm gonna use them for after I've got them made. It's gonna require an awful lot of chests and an awful lot of birch wood, but we've got all of those things at our disposal. Uh, this does create four of them, which I hadn't realized, the recipe does at least. So that's spectacular. And I'm going to use them over here on the hopping bonsais, because if you take a look in some of these, they only create four different types of items. So for instance, the string tree one here, the webbing one, creates sticks, string, wood, leaves, saplings. <gasps> That's five items, but we don't need it to create more saplings. So what we can do is we can occupy these slots on the drawer with specifically what we want, and that's all that will produce. And it only holds, you'll know, uh, if we go with the four by four, it only holds eight stacks per drawer, but if we could apply upgrades to it, that of course goes up. So let me clean out my inventory a bit here. So let's start with the spider web hopping bonsai. That's going to create an awful mess. So, oh goodness gracious, I should have gotten something else to hold all of this nonsense. And give me a second, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get one of our small storage crates, leave some sticks behind, and then I can put all of the objects inside of here while we work on things, just so they're not hopping around, potentially causing lag and whatnot. Shouldn't have put it right there where I'm trying to work, though. Okay, so I got a bit aggressive and put literally everything in there. But let's throw down the... Oh, dadgummit. You know what I didn't realize is we can't access those bottom slots like this. Um, We can fix that by just moving this up a level, though. I don't know why I made them flush in the ground to begin with. Okay, so we're going to start with our basic drawer. And then we are going to tell it what we want in each slot. So... We want to capture strings for sure. We're going to capture oak leaves. We don't need any more of the saplings. So we're not going to grab those. Wood. And then I guess, now that I think about it, maybe let's do get the saplings instead of the sticks because we've got an awful lot of sticks already. So we're going to put those in here like so. I don't know how long we're going to keep this thing around because we don't really need it. I think you can get a string chicken. But there you go. That's all set up. Now we'll take our hopping bonsai out of here and piece of dirt and one of the saplings plop that up there put the dirt inside plant the sapling and it should start growing i don't think the block of wood on top of it's going to be an issue but then at the same time it doesn't appear to be growing so there we go it was an issue i was wrong i messed up now you're gone so that is now growing and when it's done it'll deposit the items into the basic drawers by itself because of course this is a hopping bonsai and it works like a hopper so i'm waiting to see what happens and the excitement is killing me it's it's tangible here i can feel it oh my gosh i should have waited i shouldn't have. oh there we go so we got a log out of that we might have also gotten a stick but I think the sticks disappeared into the ether. If it has nowhere to go, I don't know what the hopping bonsai does with it. My assumption is that it just goes away and we don't have to deal with it anymore. But now I've got to transfer all of these over to do a bit of, oh my gosh, a bit of a, a similar situation. So I was working on the mineral sapling setup and I realized that I'd already run out of storage space in it. So what I'm going to do now is try to find out whether or not the upgrades apply to the entire drawer or only one of them so there you go there is one applied and i guess now i just try to put in more berries it worked okay good so what about the crystal okay good so it does apply across the entire drawer i'm gonna stick another upgrade on there and we can finally move this over much like the spiderweb sapling the mineral sapling produces more than just four items but the other items it produces mostly being more saplings and sticks aren't really necessary. At least I think it produces sticks. There were sticks inside that might have been from the previous tree we had growing there. 
But uh, that's what we're working with right now. And if I need more mineral saplings, I've got I've got a few. Birch so far is the only one that only produces uh, four items, that being the wood, the sticks, the leaves, and the saplings. Now we do have a lot of these storage upgrade level fives that we've gotten as rewards. I'm going to apply those directly to these and I am not going to worry about going through all the other tiers because we don't need that many string and leave, <laughs> you know, it's not necessary. This one I went through though and I added every single upgrade one by one because with the min rails, it's worth it, trust me. Now we get to the oak sapling and I'm going to do something a bit different here because we've already got sticks and logs being generated, well sticks over here on the birch sapling and then the spiderweb sapling is producing vanilla logs. I'm just going to have this one create nothing but apples. Just nothing but. We'll upgrade it too. Because apples are the best food in the game anyway. So why not? So this is how I'm going to be using storage drawers moving forward. It's for the hopping bonsais. We could have also made a fully upgraded 1x2. Where's that at right there? Storage drawer 1x2. Uh, on top of the wheat farm and that would have worked perfectly considering all it makes is seeds and wheat but we used black hole units because we're crazy people and i needed something there also yes i did notice that the hoe was broken uh, i'll work on that here in a second for right now i'm looking up at the time we got a little bit of time left what goes into a storage crate i've messed up that recipe badly what goes into a storage crate tier two void crystals Oh, okay, that's not difficult. Uh, you can get a block of coal, set it in front of an atomic reconstructor, or you can breed you can breed a void crystal chicken, the recipe for which is a palace crystal chicken and a coal chicken, and uh, they'll just make a whole bunch of void crystals. However, we only have the one chicken, really? Am I breeding those someplace? Do I have any more void? I would think that we'd have more. Am I not breeding them? I need to get another one. How did I get that one? I just read off the recipe. Okay, I'll, I'll have to make more. Coal chicken, palace crystal chicken. They're going to need some seeds. I'll get these two breeding. Hopefully, we'll get another one of those. I don't have any upgraded palace chickens. Um, I don't really know what they're used for, but you know what? Let's go ahead and start the breeding process there. Got to get all the best chickens. Got to get them all. It's like Pokemon. That's how I'm going to be doing this, at least. And then the, the large one requires that we get empowered void crystal blocks, which means we'll need an empower. This seems like a whole sort of situation that I'm not quite free to discuss today because I've got some other projects in the real world I need to address. But uh, hey, till next time. Thank you folks for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed the last couple of episodes based around storage. I think we're going to change pace. I know that I keep talking about going in here and doing applied energistics. It's on my to-do list. But we're going to need some monster heads when we get into farming. And for that, it might be worthwhile creating a mob spawner and, well, not a mob spawner, but a mob masher, I suppose, using the, the mob grinding utilities mod. So I think that's probably what we'll do next time. I don't know, though. It's all up in the air. You, you can never be too sure with me what I'm going to do next. I'm a wild man. Until next time, thank you all for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!